Oh, that looks nice already. Look at that. And the pants will be amazing. So, if you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen Cheely. And hello fashion sewers, how are you? I hope you are well in these times. Um, my fashion is all about refashioning, upcycling. So if you are new and you are thinking about your wardrobe and you're thinking about you know, replacing garments and you don't necessarily want to buy, buy new, then this is a channel for you. We're all about upcycling DIY fashion. So if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Now let's get into the video. The dress that I'm going to refashion. Hear that sound? I just love the way it sounds. Imitation satin. Um, oh. I do like it when some garments do have signs. <laughs> so um, this is a short dress on me, a mini dress, but I wanted to make it into a top. So, and because it doesn't close at the side, the bust area, my bust are a bit too big to fit into the top part of this dress. I am going to remove the zip from that side. I'm not going to close it, I'm not going to insert any fabric and I'm also going to open the side seam on the other side to match the length of that. And that is where we are going to start to begin with and I'm going to be putting this polar neck, which is my polar neck that I've had for years, it's still got a lot of life left in it, for sure, yeah. It's going to be the top part to this top. And I was thinking also from a previous project, I had this fabric left over. I'll put a picture of it here, of that tutorial, and I'll link it below. Um, and I've been thinking about it as I've been stood here about how I would like to incorporate this into here and I haven't come up with a solution as yet so time is of the essence so I don't think I'm going to have much time to play around with that um, but I'll just quickly show you how my thinking my thinking process to this so this is the bottom end of the skirt to that project and I don't think I'm only wanting to incorporate this because it's a black and white dog to print to it and maybe add in a little bit more of a dimension to this top that I want to create and I mean it would it would have been possible to put it on the sides if I wanted to and that's always an option if you want to do that um, but I just want to leave the sides open for now. I'll tell you the reason why. It's just based on another project that I did that seems to have worked. So I want to stick with that and see if I can follow through with that technique on this top. So I was also thinking the back here is quite interesting. Then I could incorporate that into it somehow. But no, this is going to be for another project. So let's get on with this one. So like I said, I'm going to remove the zip and then I am going to unpick the side seam on the opposite side to the same length to what the zip is. So that means it's open and then it'll be able to fit comfortably over my chest. And the top part of this tur turtleneck, polar neck is going to be covering those areas and more or less be tacked into place and I'm going to curve it around like so and then I'll have some fabric here in which I'll be able to lengthen these sleeves that's my thought process so let's get started Mm-hmm. 
I've removed the zip from that, set, from that side and I've decided that I'm only going to unpick to this, this section here, just the bust area here. I'm not going to go into the first tier. So that may be sewn up to there and I think I should be able to feel comfortable once I put it over my head. So it may be a case that I will sew this side to that point. So I'm just going to unpick from here to there and then I'm ready to cut the polar neck. So let's do that now. So here we are. Give you a twirl. So as you can see, it doesn't fit that well. The size. So, but it feels comfortable. It feels well fitted. Not too difficult getting it over my head. It was. Um, it felt just right, so I know it will stay there, and <laughs> that's the most important thing. Um, what am I going to do with it? It all depends on how I'm going to attach this to the actual polar neck, so that will be the next thing. Now that I'm comfortable with how that is sitting and it feels comfortable, yeah, it does. Um, so let me just put the polar neck on. Let's see how, oh my hair, oh my goodness. Okay, not to worry. So I put my pole neck on. Oh, that looks nice already. I like that. And the pants will be amazing. Done. Yeah, that's nice. So now it's just a case of where I'm going to have this curved shape. So we're talking here. So the side seam is going to have to come to about here, I think. Let me just get my pins. Talking about here, and that's a curve all the way to here. This is where the top is along there, right across there. So I'm going to put a pin there. Right, make sure my pole neck is nice and straight. I do want a bit cleavage showing. So, yeah, thanks. I think it's a little bit higher actually. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's there. So it's talking from here all the way over to the opposite side. And Yes, yeah, so I think I'd do the same for the back as well. I think that's okay. As you can see, the sleeves are a bit short, so whatever is left in this section, I'll add it to the bottom of these sleeves. That's looking okay. I like that. So it looks something like that. Yeah. And I can wear it pants, yes. Do like that. I love the volume that's in this top and the movement of it. Okay, so now I just need to take this off. See where the pins are. Make sure I'm happy. Yep. And the placement. That's done. Let me just carefully take this off with the pins still in. Should I use one of perhaps? No, it's fine. It's okay. So let's cut the top, try it on again. So I'll keep this on for now. And let's just cut the top and let's see how that looks. 
Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I am also on the Patreon platform. Links are in the description, so do click on that and do pay me a visit. And let's get back to the video. So it's nice and flat on the table. Just going to get tape measure. This measure, that is. Place a pin on the opposite side. Okay. I'm just going to cut this shape by eye. <laughs> So that's the shape we have. Wow, that looks nice. Okay, so now we're left with this. And this is the section where I said I was going to make into the cuff section for lengthening the sleeves. We have to just go round actually, round circle. Right, let me see, what do I need? That's a circle. A plate or something like that will be fine to use on this. So I want to use all of this. I was thinking maybe just put on a circle. Um, you know, because then I have leftover fabrics. It isn't going to be lots of, of scrap. That's going to be left over. But let's see if I can use all of this. So it needs to be in two parts then. So I'll just cut it into two halves. Can I cut? Can I unravel? No, I am definitely going to be cutting this. <laughs> So let's see what this is going to look like once I put on the top and be the extension of the sleeve. Yeah, that's okay actually. We'll see. Let's let's go and do another fitting. So this is what it looks like. This is the front, the side, and the back. That looks nice. I, I am happy with that result. That looks nice. Okay, so and that fits nicely. So it will be a case of attaching. Where is it? This edge to the inside here, and the same with the back section. Then attaching this to here. Yes, oh look at that. That is lovely. Yes, I'm happy with that. Yes. I don't even think I'll even I might do. Should I? Yeah, I might just do that. Just fold it under and hand sew this too. The underside. Yep, I think I'll do that. The back, I think, to be honest with you, I think the back is a little high. Yeah, I definitely think that's a little bit high. 
but that's only because I can't really see it that well. But it, it looks cute though. Um, okay, so happy with that. Yes, that does feel right. I feel like I need to have pockets as well. <laughs> um, but no, that's gonna look really nice with pants. I can't do like that yet. It's not the fullness of it. Okay, so this is what was left over. And how am I going to incorporate it into this top? Can I roll it down like so? Should I just add it on? Maybe just cut that bit off. Oh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? It's cut off. It's cut away. And then ruch the sleeves off. Like that. I do like that. That's nice. And then just add this to the bottom. And then I can hand sew that into place. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to test this out. I do like this. So what I've done here is I've wrapped the sleeve over itself. I've got the curved edge here covering my elbow. So that'll be sew it into place. You have a little bit of my skin peeping through here. As you can see, it's wrapped over like so. And I think we just need to give that a go and then I'll be happy with the fact that I've used everything. And there's, left there's no leftover scraps. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's recap. I'm going to turn this under, attach it at three places. The, the front is going to be attached, the back is going to be attached, and then this is going to be attached to the side seams. So you get this lovely curve happening here. And obviously I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to wrap the sleeve the bottom end of the what was the, the um, polar neck is going to be wrapped around in this fashion and let's see what happens see if I like it okay and, and I'll come back to you let you know <laughs> well obviously I'm going to share <laughs> in my results with you but let's see how this works let's see how it works so I am going to work on the upper section first I'm going to turn that back Base and hand sew back into position. I'm now hand stitching the curved section of the polar neck. I'm using a herringbone hand stitch. Time for the sleeves. I'm going to wrap them both the same way. Just going to use a diagonal temporary stitch to hold it into place. 
I've put links to all the techniques that I've used on this project in the description. So please do click on those because it really will help you with your project. Okay, so I'll do the same technique on that one. I will then stitch along here, which I'll, I'll use a slip stitch and I'll flip it to the, because this is the right side, I slip it to the inside and then I'll do another slip stitch or herringbone stitch to keep that into place and then it will be a case of then just attaching the curve section to the end of the sleeve so that it covers the elbow and a little bit of my skin will be showing if not more let's see how that goes okay all of my hand sewing is done the sleeves I just need to take out the basting stitches it's okay okay right before we attach this to the dress we just need to attach the sleeve extension like so yes just put one arm in so now I've got the sleeve on the extension part yeah then that's okay then just a case of getting some pins, put a one pin there yeah that's pinned another pin there where are my pins oh well, lucky, nothing <laughs> um, I haven't pricked myself with any of the pins. But no, that's good. So I'm gonna base that in position and then that's going to be hand sewn. And then it's going to be complete. Well, I have to sew uh, the bodice, just this side part to the bodice and then it will be complete. It's done. So the sleeves are super long. So they've been extended. So now I just need to show you the hand stitching that I've done so far. So I'll just take it to the wrong side. The straps are now attached to the shoulder line of the polar neck and the sides are attached to the side of the polar neck as well. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else because I've already shown you the hand stitching that I've I have done so that's it yeah now all I need to do is try it on and see how it feels now remember that I will be styling this in my videos where I do outfits of the week so you can see how I style it and if there's any issues and I'll tell you about them in that particular video so yes so happy with the results the way it's turned out yeah, it's really nice. I'm happy. So, let me see. What do I think? I like it. The sleeves are a little bit of an issue, but I think I can get used to that. I really do. It's, it's the new aesthetic, isn't it? And that's what we need to get used to. But I'm feeling it. I like it. I like the way it feels on my body. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. And you'll be able to see how I style this when I wear it in one of my 
um, what I wear during the week videos which I show on a Friday but no I used all of the pole in it there's nothing left over which makes that makes me happy and yeah it's just I think for me it's what I wear it with so I think it's very going to be a very casual casual look I was going to say scruffy but not really scruffy very casual look very yeah very yeah very very not smart casual scruffy scruffy casual let's put it that way <laughs> especially when it comes to the sleeves but no I yeah I'm liking it I really am I do think that the back is a little high though maybe I should have cut that a little bit lower but other than that no I, I will definitely be wearing this I will so if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up please do share like and don't forget under the like button is is the subscribe button click on that don't forget to hit the notifications to to receive um information of when i upload my videos they got it out and is there anything else i can tell you about this no if if anything i'm going to make any changes to this you'll always find out what changes i make when i do my outfits of the week so like i said if you enjoy this video then please give it a like and please do share and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you next time thank you for watching